are wild wood crest new jersey it's just like wildwood but it's the crest going for a squawk and today we're going back to the car and then we got to get back to the car but we're not going to take the boardwalk because the boardwalk's getting repaired and uh yeah so we can't really take the boardwalk so we're going to drive down the streets take a peek at the hotels that remain or the motels what's the difference between a hotel and a motel i think i think it has something to do with the floors no maybe oh i don't know you know who knows want to use let me know in the comments wildwood new jersey is broken into a bunch of parts there's wildwood i mean north wildwood west wildwood wildwood crest and uh North Wild, I mentioned that, yeah. West Wildwood, Wildwood, hey, there's all types of Wildwoods. There's even a song! Oh, wow, 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 That's enough of that. Wow. Don't want to get a copyright strike game, though, Bobby Darren. I think we just lost Bobby Darren. Was it Bobby Darren? Oh. Or is it Bobby Rydell? Ooh. Mmm, I think it's Bobby Darren. Bobby Darren, South Philly boy. Wrote the song Wildwood Days. Well, I don't know if you wrote the song. He sang it. He sang. <laughs> he sang that thing up until the day he died. That was his. Hey, he's like, listen. What you want me to come perform? And like, yeah. Well, listen, I'm going to do Wildwood Days. And like, yeah, no shit. That's the whole reason we want you to come. I'm sure he had other hits. Right now, there's some lady from South Philly throwing stuff at her TV because I just insulted Bobby Darren or Bobby Rydell. I think it's Bobby Darren. Oh damn! Why do you talk when you don't know? Here we are. So these are the uh, hotels. Man, look at these. Getting ready, getting the palm trees ready. People are coming. You get a hotel room. And what people do is they hang their towels off the uh, the banisters. Some of the hotels, they have signs that say, get, get God, goddamn towels off my banisters. So this is the Waikiki. I never... Uh, coffee shop N Nassau Inn the Fleur de Lis yeah I never stayed at any of these hotels my aunt and uncle got a spot not too far from here and I haven't even stayed there in maybe a decade I just stopped going down the Wildwood Yankee Clipper the Crusader check out these baseball fields I'm doing this in the uh, third week of March, and um, I show the cool sign. You know when a good time to do this is? Probably when everything's lit up, but I won't be able to drive down this street. Yeah, but check out this field. Oh, this is Maury Field. Named, oh, look, you, see, you tell how nice this field is? Look at this. It's not even locked. And they got the bases. Wow. That's 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 class. <laughs> I can smell the salt water here. I was on that boardwalk. All I could smell was the wood because they were cutting wood. There's a little field. Wilbert and Jacqueline Morey. Named after Will and Jackie Morey. Uh, they lived while with Morey. I they're the guys that owned the pier. That with all the rides. I stay in a lot of this place. But if you look around at these uh, hotels, they all got like a cool little 50s vibe. Now let's see. I'm in New Jersey. So I'm probably not even supposed to be riding this thing in the street. <sighs> yeah, and they all have pools, which really is so funny that people go to a hotel a block away from the ocean and go to the pools. I know some people like to go to the ocean then dip in the pool afterwards. You do the ocean during the day, you do the pool in the afternoon, then you do the boardwalk at night.
check out these rooms. Look at the room in that hotel. All the uh, hotel rooms, it looks like they're all getting cleaned up for the summer. Man, this place, right out of the 50s, right? How amazing is this little, this is a gem. Peaceful, quiet. Fire Motel. That's a motel. Over here is the Wildwood Surf Shop. That's a motel. Motel or hotel? What's the back? I, I would say a hotel is better. A motel. Hmm. Oh, that little short store. That little surfboard shop's open. There's the Rio. Check in, check out. Little tiny thing. Oh boy, this is utterly boring. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna look at hotels, but then there's about a quarter of a mile where there's absolutely nothing. Uh, oh, look at this. A uh, putt putt course. That's something you do. You play putt putt here. That's always whale watching. That's another thing you could do. There's whale boats. Uh, I think we did that once when I was a kid. We did the whale boats. I don't remember seeing whales. What I remember from that trip, I, I, I get like vivid memories of certain like vacations. And what I remember from that whale boat uh, ride was. Um, the people who were do, giving the tour, they had like seagull water guns and they were shooting suntan lotion and pretending it was bird shit. And I thought that was the funniest thing because I was uh, I was like six. Little did I know as an adult, I would not find poop, 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 poop humor funny. Not my bag, baby. Oh, I smell manure. There's another motel. I don't see any hotels. There's the Days Inn. I wonder how much it would cost to stay at the Days Inn today. There's the El Rey. I think this is one of the few hotels I stayed in. Just so you know, the El Rey means the Rey. I don't know if you're into the Spanish. There's a Days Inn. There's another one. There's a lot of motels. I remember hearing a lot of people say, oh, the, the hotels are going away. There it is. There's the beer store that's open all year round. One of, I had to drive down here today. I don't have Easy Pass. I will never get Easy Pass. It's one day. They're going to track your speed with Easy Pass, and and you're going to get a ticket. And I'm going to be, I'm going to tell you, haha. Look, this is an inn, not a hotel, not a motel. It's an inn. There's a motor inn. I like the bars on this one. The railing.
Look at that. Look at that railing. You know what this gives me? The vibes of the hotel where uh, Dr. Uh, Martin Luther King was killed, right? And uh, I never thought about it before. Why was he staying in such a shithole hotel? Uh-oh, golf carts. Are they legal in Jersey? How much is a golf cart? This thing is eleven thousand dollars. Huh. There's the Skylark. That might have been the one I stayed, or maybe the Quebec. I don't know. My brother used to get a hotel room, and then I would come down with my kids to stay with him for a day, or you know, I, I would never get a hotel room. <laughs> No, but it is with the hotel rooms. You got to plan it way in advance. Um, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't do that with my, vac well, I don't have vacation time anymore. There's another hotel. No vacancy right now. That's a hotel. And this is a motel. What's the difference between that building and that building besides the H and the M? Walk Mall. I'm gonna turn right here. Uh oh. Man, I'm hungry. I gotta get something to eat. There's the Happy Days Inn. Named after the TV show. This is um, uh, a, a water park. Uh, back in the day, it used to be Dracula's Castle. Oh, did I love Dracula's Castle. And um, you, would, you would go on Dracula's Castle. You could either ride the moat or you could um, walk through Dracula's Castle. And... Uh, My friend Brett from the Fandemic crew, he always tells me this story. I guess we're going to pop up here for one second. And uh, he told me that they have a ride called the Flo Rida. And Flo Rida, you know, my favorite musician, he was supposed to be here when, when the ride opened and he never showed up. Uh-oh. It was probably at the club. Speaking of the club, up here is the Stardust. Bruce Willis used to hang out down here um, in the in like the 60s. He would come to Wildwood all the time and I think he was a musician and he would perform. The Stardust, man look at this building right here. The Stardust was a um, a nightclub. Might still be a nightclub, I don't know. like it's liquor license for sale it's not open anymore check out this building the Schillingers late snack late night stacks you get here for cocktails I would always go, there was a place somewhere around here, you get a case of beer, I would just get a case of beer and uh, just drink, or I get a bottle of rum, just drink. I never, I never went to the bars. I guess by the time I was old enough to go to bars, um, this is, by the way, this is the bar, uh, I had kids, so I never really got a chance to go club. I never really went clubbing like my friend Flo Rider. You know? This one's open all year round.
it's surprising that they don't have uh, bike lanes in the street. There's the old city pub. This, this is just, this is a video of me just writing and reading signs out loud. And then some of the signs, like the word attache, I go, fuck, do I even try to read it out loud? Because I, I, I could be wrong. That's a big one. So what they did is they would tear down these hotels, the, the little ones, and they built things like this. Like little, little places like this. My cousin just bought a spot down here. Got a little... It's like a bedroom kitchen. It's like a studio apartment. It's a condo. There's the First Baptist Church. Oh, that was the worst. I remember we would go here for vacation and we would have to go to stupid church on the weekends. Oh, on Sunday. Come on, we gotta go to church, hon. No. Why? Why? You know, I never thought about this question till right now. I was raised Catholic. So my question is, when Catholic priests take vacations, right? Because they do. They get vacations. Do they go to church? Or do they take the week off? And then they just go to confession. Say, ah, that's what you do when you go to church. If you miss church, that's a sin. So then you got to go into a box and tell the priest, yeah, I miss church. And then he would say, oh, look at this. This is a nice little sign, the Sunflower Beach Club. And then he would say, oh, listen, you can't do that. You got to go to church, right? Um, oh, no, that's right. I just came down the street. There's nothing. Got to go to church. Are people paying the meters? That's my question. You gotta go to church or, or uh, you go to hell. So instead of going to church, what you gotta do is now you gotta say three Hail Marys and then you're gonna go to heaven. And you're like, oh, okay, thanks, Father. And if you think about it, just skip church, say three Hail Marys. You're gonna save yourself an hour. It's a gamble. If you don't make it to confession, you'll go to hell. But trees are blooming. It's 3 o'clock, 52 degrees, and I'm in Wildwood, New Jersey. And the boardwalk's closed, and I'm riding a scooter talking to myself. I guess. My thing is, do you have to pay the park? Some shore towns, you don't have to pay the park until summertime comes, till the shoe bees come. That's what they call them. The people that live down here all year round, they hate, they hate the tourists. I have a friend, Steve. He's a, uh, he's like a big Wildwood person, and he, he hates, he hates tourists. Oh, I love my little town, but I hate when the tourists come to keep my town open. Gateway 26 is open on the weekends. Luckily for me, this is a Wednesday. I stopped doing quizzos because I was fired. Uh, but my Wednesdays have been free for the past few weeks. I'm doing Quizzo March 29th, probably for the last time for a while. Because I really enjoy having these Wednesdays free. And uh, no overnight parking. See, I bet you it's easy as shit to camp out here. I guess we're back on the boardwalk. This is exactly what I didn't want to do. And now here we are. We're doing the boardwalk. <laughs> oh, look at that. They're doing the safety inspection. There's a guy taking pictures. How exciting.
No way I could do that. Oh wait, did I do this part of the boardwalk? The Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, maybe I didn't do this part of the boardwalk. The goat carts. Oh no, no, we're near the end. Okay, we're near the end of the boardwalk. Well, listen. Um, yeah, because this is where the funny insult comic clown was. Uh, it's been, it's been, you know. <laughs> I, uh, I'm sorry. They, 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 you know, there's a reason why I'm not on TV and I'm on the internet because not all of them are home runs, you know. And I'm, you know, what I'm going to do sometimes. I, you know, you would be surprised how many times I'll go in a scoop, and I'll be like, ah, man, nah, I wasn't feeling it. I'm not going to put it up. This one, I'm not feeling. I'm, but I'm going to put up just because I traveled so goddamn far, and. Uh, it's pretty neat to document history. That's what I do sometimes. I document history. Even though it's just a boardwalk in the middle of, uh, in the beginning of spring. Like, X and O Pizza might not be open much longer. But now I documented that sign. All the, oh, let's take a church. Let's check out the t-shirts. What are they buying? Okay. A lot of young boy. Rap guy, that's Eminem. Drake. Holy G. Is that a guy's name? Holy G? That's a horrible name. Nipsey Russell? I don't know. And there's the anime. Yeah. Man, I sure am hungry. I would love to eat some uh, Wildwood food. I really like those big french fries. That's okay. You know, I feel guilty sometimes when I come down to these places and I can't bring Cheryl. Cheryl loves the beach. And we haven't had really a good car in a while. And uh, so I, we're going we're gonna to probably do the beach sometime soon. We might do a horror convention this weekend. Um, we might do Gettysburg. we got to figure it out. But... Um, it's good that some things are closed. That way, it makes me want to come back and bring Cheryl and maybe the kids, let them see some of this stuff. I can't wait to take the grandbaby down here. Look at this. Wow, it's not even painted yet. How exciting. You would probably make more money with a parking lot than you would with, well, oh, maybe not. I don't know. Would you make more money with putt-putt or parking lot? I would say you would make more money with parking lots. And you see, there they go. There was some condominiums. That's probably one of the first ones. And... Okay. Well, listen, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Say, hey, I enjoyed it. I know you you didn't enjoy it, but I was it was I I had a good time. So just you know, write that. Yeah, I had a good time. Um, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, and while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. My merch, it's fire. And if you want to help me out, there's a link below in every video to my Patreon. There's bonus videos. You get postcards. You get early previews, um, like this. Since I'm down Wildwood all day. The, the, the Patreon people will get a a uh, a pre. Don't get to see this a day or two. Oh, look, a bike lane. Isn't that nice? Um, so they get the preview. They get to watch it a day before you get to see it, or two days. It doesn't matter. Who cares? There's another pool. Who cares? <laughs> what a horrible salesperson I am. Um, man, am I hungry though? God damn it. Uh, Patreon. If you're not doing anything. Click that join button to join me for a cup of coffee every Sunday. Might be Sunday supper. I don't know. I got to figure out what baseball season what I'm going to be doing with the live streams. Um, Sunday, cup of coffee. There's a dolphin. Oh, there was a thing the other day. There was like uh, eight dolphins just committed suicide the other day. They just said, you know what? It's enough of this world. And they, they like rode up to the, um, the beach and just died. My favorite thing is the news had to, like, tell the story, like, 
those eight dolphins that swam onto the beach. Unfortunately, they all died. Like, no shit. They gotta, they need uh, water to exist. I'm just gonna keep going until I get to the car. Um, and I'm gonna go to the Dollar General. I can't believe I'm gonna eat a Dollar General. I'm gonna eat like a Pop-Tart and I want French fries. And then, uh, all right. There's a hotel. Open all year round. Indoor. Montego Bay. Montego Bay. <laughs> see? Don't read out loud. That's it. Look, look, see? This is an old hotel. And they made it condominiums. They probably sold. Oh, man. Here we go. What's the name of this street? What's the name of this street? Ocean Ave. 1608 Ocean Ave, Wildwood, New Jersey. What's it going for? Let me know in the con cut the com condos in the comments. The hell did I park at? There's the Matador. There's the beach. The boardwalk goes down here. I'm right here. There's the condor. Me and my parents stayed here. I know that. I know we stayed there as as when I was a kid. There was a ride. They opened up a ride called the Condor. All right, well, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll say I'll wait you later. Toodles!